ABC News contributor and former federal prosecutor Khan Nawade here again with us tonight for uh, for some insight on all of this. Khan, thanks for being here. Let's take a look at the search warrant first. We we both have a copy of it. Um, what stands out to you in the search warrant? First off, the huge, big powder keg in this is the fact that uh, the judge found probable cause to believe that there was um, a violation of the Espionage Act. And that's no small feat. Like, that's what we're talking about, espionage here. Exactly. What that is, is that means that they think that there was mishandling of top secret information that was transmitted to unauthorized persons. This is the exact same statute that Snowden was charged with. Mm. All right, so let's let's move on to the um, the receipt here, the things that they say they they took in this in this uh, search of the the former president's home. We're talking about okay, you can see at the top a grant of clemency for Roger Stone, information on the president of France. But then we see as you move down, secret documents, miscellaneous. Then we have top secret documents, confidential documents, uh, more top secret documents. What, talk about top secret for a minute because you know people can throw that term around, but what does that mean? And you're exactly right, Phil. Like people throw that term around, but it's actually very, very specific. What top secret means is a type of document or information that if it gets out there, it can cause exceptionally grave damage to our national security. So it's, it's really important stuff, it's sensitive stuff. And the thing that sticks out to me is item 2A, various TSSCI documents. That SCI. Right, SCI means this is top secret stuff that can only and should only be viewed within a certain facility that's basically protected from data leaks. They're called SCIFs, right? Exactly. No phones allowed, nothing. This is where you view these documents. Exactly. Like, you, you cannot take your phone in. You're right. not going to get any emails because that's how sensitive this material is. And they have it there. So then what do they have to do now? Are they concerned about people who may have seen this or where this material may have gone? Absolutely. Th that's... Uh, my money's on the, what the FBI and national security professionals are doing right now. They're looking through everything they've gotten from the search, and they're trying to figure out who else may have seen this highly sensitive material. That's a big task. Yes. Especially with everything that we see they took. Okay, former federal prosecutor and ABC News contributor Khan Nowaday, thanks so much for joining us again. We, we do appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.